Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to make your own color acrylics and glitter acrylic powders. The color shown will be my samples. What you will need is a mortar and pastel. I got this one as a gift from my aunt. She heard I needed one and she bought it at Marshalls, but you can get one on Amazon or any other stores. I will link down below. It is a little on the heavier side, but definitely worth buying. If you want to make this do-it-yourself easier, for yourself I got the clear crystal acrylic containers from Amazon price and link will be down below the size is 10 grams and they come in a package of a hundred pieces I think it's perfect size for acrylic especially if you would like to change it up once in a while what you will also need is a loose eyeshadow or loose pigments I bought the shiny cosmetic loose eyeshadow the containers can probably be used three to four times so I think it's worth the investment. I purchased the 40 piece shiny loose eyeshadows from Amazon. The link is down below. This is how the box looks and the variety of colors. I have been using the eyeshadow, so not all of the eyeshadows are in the box. You can also add glitter to the shadows for a color glitter mix or keep it solid, it's your choice. I will use extra fine glitter and silver. I got it at Walmart as well as the next two glitters. This will be a great background for my glitter mix. I am using a chunky holographic glitter. I will add it first since it's chunkier, less is more. We want the glitter to have space to spread and sparkle. And finally, for my uh, first glitter mix, I will use iridescent glitter. For my second mix, I will be using this fine holographic pink purple glitter I got from AliExpress. It came in a package of 20 different glitters. You will need white acrylic powder to make your color acrylic mixes. You will also need clear acrylic powder. So far, Mia Secrets is one of my favorites. To test out your colors and glitters, you will need a acrylic brush. I use a number 8 Artisan Pro Master Brush. And you will need two damping dishes with monomer, one for glitter and one for color, it's preference. I use a small spoon to scoop up clear acrylic and two cuticle pushers. I use one for the glitter mix and other one for the color pigment. I am opening up the container and I am filling it up halfway with clear acrylic. This one will be for a color acrylic. I like to do 50-50 ratio but as you test it out you will see what you prefer. Next, I will add white acrylic, about two to three cuticle pusher scoops. The reason I add the white is because it acts as a base for the color to pop. You don't just put eyeshadow on your eyelids, you prime them and set them so that the color stands out. Now I will grab the eyeshadow or pigment, measuring it up, filling up the rest of the container or covering the top layer of the acrylic. I am using a small cuticle pusher for this. You won't know exact measurements until you test it out to see if it's the color you want. The reason I put the acrylic and the pigment in the container first is to measure it. So when I am done and put it on the container, it fits perfectly without losing anything extra. I will put my mix into my mortar and pastel and grind the powder instead of shaking it in the container. Because there are tiny lumps in the color that won't dissolve completely and your color will be patchy and uneven. I am now grinding the powder. As you can see, the color gets darker the longer I grind it. This is because you are completely dissolving all the lumps in the pigment. The color is done and very bright, beautiful, solid color. Ready to use. As you can see, it is fluffy, so you want to pat it down just a bit to make it easier to use with the monomer and your brush. I am now using a nail tip to test out the acrylic. I don't normally use tips, but for the purpose of this video and to show you the color acrylic, I will use them. I will also show you the way I store and organize my color acrylics and glitters towards the end of my video. The color the camera is capturing is exactly the color that it looks in person. For some reason, and most likely bad lighting, the final video clip and pictures of the look a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in the color. The eyeshadows have a bit of shimmer which adds a beautiful look. 
One huge tip when using glitter acrylic and color acrylic, you want to do a thin layer of clear acrylic on the nail bed before applying the color or the glitter to prevent staining the natural nail. If you have tried removing regular glitter polish or no chip glitter polish, you know it's thick and harder than a solid color, so the clear thin layer protects the nail bed. I also encapsulate the nails before filing so I don't chip off the glitter when I file it. That's something I personally do, so think of a sandwich. First you do a thin layer of clear acrylic in the nail bed, then you do a thin layer of color or glitter acrylic, and then finally you encapsulate it with a thin layer of clear acrylic. Think thin. I am now working on the blue acrylic. I measured it all out and now I'm grinding it. I don't use these cuticle pushers on clients. I only use them to measure out my acrylic powders, glitters, and pigments. I take the same exact amount and the same exact steps for all the color acrylics unless I want to add glitter to the color. So far it has worked for me. Me making my own acrylic mixes, I have saved money and I have enjoyed making them myself. They last just as long as the pre-made colors and pre-made glitters. I am just finishing my blue color acrylic. I will set it aside, let it dry, and be ready for a top coat. I am now going to start making my first glitter mix. I will fill it up halfway. I will not add white. It will only be clear acrylic. I will put one fourth of the container amount, so instead of filling it up, halfway I will fill up the half of the half you want to move it around to make sure how much you put in it as you can see it's a little bit chunkier so I want to make sure I don't put too much of it inside you want to make sure you stir it around to see how much you have I put about five cuticle pushers scoop of this glitter. It's more of a transparent side, but when the light hits it, it's a very beautiful shine. I am only using three scoops of the fine glitter. I don't want it to overpower my mix, but I want it to fill in the background since my other two glitters are chunkier and heavier. There will be a lot of see-through and transparency. I am now putting the cap on it and I will shake it I will not use the grinder for the glitter mix, simply mix the glitter until the acrylic glitter evens out. One way to know you have an even amount is to open the container and be able to see the acrylic and the glitter. Should be half and half. If you have more glitter than acrylic, it will come out thick and dry. It will be extremely hard to work with. If you have too little glitter, it will be sheer and could be put on top of a solid color. Anytime acrylic starts drying or getting hard to work with, wipe your brush and go back into the monomer only and try to fix it. Just so you know, any acrylic glitter, especially the chunkier glitter, takes a little bit longer to dry than a solid color acrylic. I find that helpful since you can play around with it until it dries. I am now making my second glitter mix, filling it halfway with clear acrylic. Since this is the only glitter I will be using for my mix, it's up to me to add as much or as little glitter as I choose. I did about five scoops, about halfway full but left some space. Then put the cap on and start shaking for a few good seconds, about 15 or 10 or so. You can see both the glitter and the acrylic, that's when you know you have a good mix. This hollow glitter hits the nail tip and just doesn't stop sparkling. I find it a lot easier to work with fine glitter, but I don't discriminate. I love glitter in general. I am just finishing up my nail. We'll set it aside and get it ready for a top coat. The top coat I would use is Rapid Dry OPI Top Coat. This is the true blue with this lighting and for some reason on the pictures and video at the end it shows so much darker.
and this will be the true coral red it's really pretty and looks exactly like it does right now but as you will see in the pictures as well it looks darker for some reason The hollow is so shiny, the light does not do it justice. You can literally see all the different colors in there. The pink purple mix shines on any kind of light, even this light or the sucky one that I'm going to do at the end, it still shines no matter what it hits. I will be showing you the picture without flash. This is how the colors turn out how they look in the containers and outside and the next picture will be with flesh so you can see the different and you can see the glitters and the shine pop out I will show you the way I organize my acrylics is with this polished display fan I got from Ally Express I label the fan and label the jars I use the stickers I got at Walmart from the office section, then use tape on top of it to completely seal the stickers. So when a client picks a color, I know the number and find it fast and easy and stay organized. If you enjoy watching my channel, please like, share, and subscribe down below to my channel. Thank you for watching.